Um, I'm in Berlin in the Booster Space office. Michael, where are you? <laughs> I'm at home in my uh, home office in Potsdam, Babelsberg. And we're going to talk about conferences and how Corona is changing everything. Uh, so not only that we're not sitting next to each other, like we would normally do, yeah. but 30 kilometers away, but also um, usually this would be the second day of uh, the Covades or the Pro X um, and the Women Eyes. So like mm -hmm. it would be game speak time. Now it's Corona time. Yeah. All uh, physical events have been postponed. Um, are we working on digital events right now? Are we, Michael? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> uh, yes, we are working on um, the GameSpeak Digital, actually, um, and the format Dev Booster, an online competition um, for game developers pitching their games. OK, nice. Um, is it different to do digital uh, conferences instead of physical conferences? Well, obviously, it's different. What did you ask? Different. Uh, obviously, it's different um, in many, many, many means. Um, the most important or the biggest difference, and hence also challenge, is to offer your attendees a reason to um, go to the event, actually, to attend the event, um, because the formats cannot be adopted one-to-one -one from the physical and offline space to the digital and online space. OK, but if, if I ask stupid now, isn't the reason people go to events that they learn from expert speakers and uh, watch panel discussions and then uh, after the event are a little bit smarter than before? Yeah, you could. That's definitely one reason why um, you buy tickets for conferences and then go to the event. Um, hence, obviously, many people do what we are doing now, video interviews, um, live streams, Zoom chats, um, crowdcast. Uh, podcasts and webinars and whatever it's happening left and right and also like the sheer amount of game developers talking to other game developers on different channels at the moment is exploding um, but it's only one and actually quite small part of uh, what defines an event even a conference um, the educational part is done, I would say, better in a Udemy course than on, on a, a conference. Um, if you want to learn about newest shading technologies, you just watch tutorials and attend uh, courses of um, and webinars. Um, so um, no, the, an event is something else. An event is the experience of meeting other people. Okay, meeting other people, but you can meet people online, you can chat with them online, but this is not what you mean, right? Well, you can't even meet online in the way as you can offline. Um, like now, even the situation, um, it works because we know each other and what you said in the beginning, usually you sit next to each other and okay, we can do that now. But um, the difference between our daily stand-up and this interview is minimal. It's the same setup, it's the same devices we use, um, it's the same distance we have. Um, what I mean with meeting other people is the spontaneous encounters, the actual physical um, experience of being uh, next to each other, of um, hugging, of um, pushing, of playing around and teasing or whatever you, you do at, at events and parties and conferences. Um, that's a totally different level than just sharing information. Mm. The media. OK, and how do you think that we as event producers and uh, other event professionals as well will um, tackle this challenge, problem, challenge, whatever, and make events that are digital more like physical experience? Do you have uh, first solutions on your hand? 
Mm. Well, that's the big question at the moment. Um, if I had the answer, I would have already done it before because there's a demand for going online anyway. So it makes sense to go online for many reasons. Um, travel issues, environmental issues, but also time and other resources um, can be saved um, by just going online, right? Um, but we didn't do that yet because the benefits of meeting physically are very high. Um, so no, I don't have the... I don't have the um, perfect answer or the answer to that. I think we need to try out uh, things, but I also believe that it does. It's not the part of the solution is not to simulate the um, time space continuum you usually have at physical events and just put it into a web browser. That's uh, not. I don't think that's the path we should go. Okay, but, but what are parts that can actually be transferred from physical to digital? Uh, because I, I think that there are many, many aspects and reasons why people go to uh, like physical conferences that can also be explored in uh, everything that is digital right now. Yeah, so I think uh, the easiest one of the easiest things is to do the offer the meeting system, the matchmaking, the business development aspect, if you know the people. So you can do that. But also that is one module. It's one software, it's one service provider, and usually it's one space in, in the venue. Um, do you is that my music? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <sighs> Yeah, loud right. neighbors, right? Loud neighbors, yeah. Um, sorry for um, the fuck up. Um, what did I want to say? Uh, so, so the matchmaking and the networking, uh, you can simulate easier because it's in a professional level and there's a specific rule and time is usually also very short. But it's one service provider you use. You put it in one venue um, normally and it's uh, a separate space with a clear purpose. But at the same time, you go to the conference, uh, to the lectures, to the keynotes in a different space with a different setup with different people. You go to the lunch area, to the exhibition area, to the party. Um, all are different um, tools, sort of. Um, they are different parts on the venue. They have different setups and different purposes. So they are verticals. And I think uh, that's a thing um, which is not all provided by the venue. So. I'm not looking for one software that can provide to me all these different aspects. I'm rather looking for a software which can connect other software. So it, for me, it's more important to simulate the badge I give to my attendees, which is their sort of access card and um, uh, experience enabler sort of um, during the event uh, mm. without having letting them or making them having to register, log in and out of different tools, open this and that, and try to juggle around different accounts and information uh, uh, packages in different uh, scenarios. So this is more what I'm looking for at the moment. Okay, so um, if you can dream, uh, make up an uh, event experience in a, a dream location, and have like uh, several tools that make the perfect the perfect experience event experience for you where would it be what would it be would it be something on a foreign planet and people don't go to a conference center but i don't know like two underground caves on planet mars and have the um, a video game conference there uh, digitally of course or uh, what would it be would it be something mm -hmm. like the um a theme Neither park the, right uh, no not at all actually i don't know again i'm, I'm not 100 sure but um i think uh, what my dream wouldn't be to have a space um a virtual space a digital space um it's more a means of enabling experiences which fit to the platforms and devices and technologies we're using. Um, so um, 
it can be themed Mars like, yes, or whatever. It's a part of the target group then. Um, but it's more <clears throat> um, using the setting, right? Um, if I go to an event, I'm outside of my usual setting. I interact with people in a different way than I do now. Um, so I'm rather looking at gamifying the experience, having a point system, using what digital media enables, tracking, data visualization, showing who's around me and creating um, automatic, automatically creating visual protocols, um, word clouds, um, buzzwords, hashtags, trending stuff, um, visualization, visualizing what people are talking about, um, giving me infos on the um, current speaker, perhaps showing me more um, than I can just see, um, connect, like having a screen with a LinkedIn profile popping up if I focus on this person or whatever. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot of new things we can do in the virtual environment rather than trying to bring the offline stuff into the digital space. Okay, are you um, are you excited about uh, a time when Corona is uh, in the past and we're still going to virtual conferences because they have become a, a part of our business lives? Or do you think that this will be the case? Yes, um, not only because of uh, COVID-19, but also because current global trends um, anyways. Um, um, the current lockdowns catalyzed um, the speed in which people adjust their behavior to using cloud-based and online uh, services. Um, speaking less abstract, um, I was foreseeing less travel anyways. I was foreseeing more digital experience anyways. Um, that it would happen so fast surprised me, obviously. Um, but um, now people are used to it. There are a lot of benefits of meeting online um, and, and uh, doing a lot of things um, as like the booster space team didn't really need to change anything in, in their processes um, because we do anything, everything in the cloud anyways. We were just sitting next to each other because it adds value. Um, but for the processes, it wasn't necessary. Um, so yes, there will be a lot of impact, there will be changes, hence it's important to have services which add value for the customers, the attendees, and our delegates, um, also in the future after 2020. Mm. Um, the digital conferences uh, seem to have the tendency to keep information short, this is why uh, I'd like to thank you for this conversation. Before we uh, say goodbye, is there one more thing you'd like to say? Well, as you obviously notice everybody and, and you, Tim, in this case, um, it's a lot to talk about. I really enjoy talking about this topic um, with uh, like-minded people, friends and experts. So um, I started the bring your own beer um, hangout um, in Germany, we would say Stammtisch, uh, which is a regular meeting um, in the bar. As we don't have a bar, and <laughs> as I cannot uh, buy you any beers uh, physically, um, please ping me or Tim, he's also involved, and we can meet and Google hangout and discuss the future of the event business um, on a regular basis. Thank you very much, Michael. Um, enjoy your evening and uh, talk to you soon. <laughs> talk to you soon. Bye-bye.